Hi, my name is Brian, and I am going to talk to you about backpacking food today. Uh, this is partially for you all, as well as uh, two of my friends that are going with me who don't have as much backpacking experience as I do, so excuse me if I go a little in-depth as to some of the pros and cons of the various food items you see in front of you, as well as how they're going to fit into the Bear Vault 450 with 440 cubic inches of space. So, uh, first step, I'm going to go over each of these individual items and some pros and cons of all of them. Next, you'll actually see what, um, what and how I'm going to package it for it to fit all into this, this one Bear Vault 450 for a six-day backpacking trip. So, here we go. Alrighty, here's our backpacking food. Alright, starting over here on the left. Okay, Pop-Tarts. High in calories for the uh, for the weight, very good um, for just a good pick-me-up in the morning. No complaints there. Haribo Golden Bears, basically gummy bears. Uh, hey, who doesn't like gummy bears, huh? Uh, they're great for trail mix too. Fritos, high in calories um, for their weight as well as uh, um, uh, carbohydrates. Shrimp chips, gotta love shrimp chips. All right. Um, they're just they're a very good source of calories. Okay, pork rinds or chicharrones. All right, no complaints here. Really good. Um, these are low carb, um, but high fat, and you get protein. Uh, drawback of these three items, these three chips, is uh, volume. They're very voluminous. Voluminous. Uh, anyways, they take up a lot of space for the amount of calories that you get. Um, so keep that in mind. If you're going to be putting everything into a bear vault, obviously you're going to have to either repackage these, crush them up, or, uh, or uh, save them for the first day of the trip. Okay. All right. Uh, various fruit options. Cherries, cranberries, blueberries. They're all dried um, and uh, um, they give you some uh, vitamins. All right, uh, here we have M&M's. I'm a big fan of dark chocolate, so uh, that's why I got the dark chocolate ones. Uh, again, great for the trail mix. Pitted dates, right here. Pitted dates, those I'll just munch along the, uh, along, along the, the, uh, the trail. Um, great, uh, high source of calories and, and fiber. Um, backpacking will usually burn anywhere from 3,000 to 5,000 calories a day. So if you hear me mention the words uh, caloric intake, that's why. You need calories. Okay, chopped dates. These are really good. I like to put these in my oatmeal or my cereal mixes. Um, so that's what, you, that's what I use these for, uh, and, and they're very long-lasting. Mangoes, delicious. More pineapple, apricots, really good. Okay, here's various assortments of energy bars and, of course, Reese's Pieces. They work for aliens like E.T., they'll work for you. Fig bars, awesome. Lara bars, great. Uh, honey. Honey is, uh, is a good source of energy. It's natural, natural sugars, so I recommend those. Okay, these little individual packets, you might find these around. Make sure they're real honey and not just high fructose corn syrup um, if you want to go a little more natural. Spam single servings, uh, amazing. Uh, and uh, you, can just, you can just eat the one without having to do too much waste. Okay, we already talked about various energy bars. Uh, Somen noodles, uh, Japanese noodles. Uh, really good, uh, good source of energy. Um, they're very dense caloric wise. I try to aim for about a four to one ratio of calories to grams, and these are right around there. So, and, and they're, very, they're very dense packaging. Um, so those are good. Pepperoni, okay, these are all four separate pepperoni packets. Um, if you pop one open, you don't have to worry about the rest spoiling, such as, like, this here is a salami stick. If you open it up, then you got to worry about, you know, potential uh, mold or anything, you know, as you, as you eat your way down it. These here, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, cilantro, it's just a reminder uh, for spices. I'm, I'm also going to be doing some Mexican food, which the Fritos going, go great with. So that will go into my, my mix. Okay, breakfasts. Uh, real medleys. These are from Quaker. Uh, good, uh, good calorie to gram ratio. And uh, Cascade Farm also has uh, their farm stand harvest granola. So two granola options there that are uh, that are recommended. So um, okay, banana chips. Uh, everyone likes potassium. 
Potassium is good when if you got um, um, acid buildup in your legs. So bananas, good. Don't take them fishing, but I'll obviously take them backpacking. Almonds, again, another source of calories. Coconut flakes, uh, good flavor as well as uh, uh, calorie per, uh, per gram. All right. Uh, dark chocolate chips. Chocolate chips can go in pretty much anything you want. Um, I like to make peanut butter balls and bring those. So peanut butter balls will have these dark chocolate chips as well as coconut flakes and some other things that I put in there. They're a quick and easy source of food. Um, if, you're, if you're a coffee drinker, these little coffee uh, packets, single serve, really good. Um, I'm not really a coffee drinker, so I probably won't bring these at all, but that's just me. Uh, I may bring these uh, caramel lattes from Starbucks. Uh, 140 calories in each one of those. Kind of gets your, your day going and gives you some energy. Uh, let's see here. Dark chocolate dreams. Just It's like it's peanut butter but with dark chocolate mixed in. Here we have peanut butter. Again, these, these are great. Uh, I'll make some uh, peanut butter balls with these. Ramen noodles. Uh, huge favorite amongst backpackers. Uh, the, only diff the only thing is with ramen uh, volume is an issue. The difference between uh, ramen noodle and this somen noodle over here is um, when it comes to volume, you get four times the amount of calories per volume in the somen noodles than you do with ramen. Okay, refried beans, great source of protein, fiber, uh, you know, no, fat is extremely low. In fact, I think it's even zero. Bacon, love bacon. Okay, you can add it to stuff, add, change up the flavor. Green belly meals. Um, these are good if you don't need, uh, they don't need heating. You can just pop them. You, these, these can be your lunches if you don't want to stop and bust out your stove. Okay, uh, dark, dark chocolate almonds. Couscous. Couscous is great for, uh, you know, for cooking. Um, you can heat it up. It'll rehydrate with both uh, cold water and hot water. So recommended. Okay. Uh, vegetable soup mix. This is vegetables. I mean, they, they are dehydrated vegetables. Um, I, like I said, I try to shoot for a 4 to 1 ratio of calories to grams. This provides it. And m mostly vegetables, you know, they're, they're not calorie dense. When they're dehydrated, they are. So, good. Um, tuna. Okay, tuna, good source of uh, protein. Um, thing about tuna is it's n there's not it's not very calorie dense, but when you add the ones with the olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, and even was it sunflower oil, um, it it definitely helps. So it makes it makes it worthwhile. Uh, seasoning pack packs. These are from uh, ramen noodles, uh, butter buds. You got um, uh, what are these? Uh, cayenne pepper, little individual packets, salt and pepper. And there's even options like Papa's Perfect. It's a salt-free seasoning mix. So if you, if you want to go low salt, because let's face it, a lot of backpacking food is high in salt. Okay. Uh, get some vitamin C with these immersion, immersion C packets. Uh, recommended. Um, and don't forget to repurpose candy. Some folks at the office uh, brought some candy a few months ago and you know, just threw it on the desk. So, uh, and I'm thinking, hey, I'm bringing that backpacking. So, um, yeah, so I might throw those in my trail mix or put it on my, you know, this is actually a candy necklace. Put it on my necklet, neck and uh, try not to forget it when I go to sleep at night. But uh, just kidding of that, of course. I'll probably just throw it in my, in my trail mix. Okay, here's Choco Pearls, all Ansar. They're actually dates with uh, cacao, chocolate, and almonds. Delicious. Uh, my buddy Ahmad uh, gave these to me when I was in, a Jor in Jordan a few months ago. Delicious. So shout out to uh, Imad. Thanks, buddy. These are going to come in real handy on um, my backpacking trip. Okay. Uh, up top here, okay, we have hummus. Okay, powdered hummus. Oop, there it is. All right, powdered hummus. Sometimes it's hard to find, but um, it's r really good. Highly recommended. Uh, instant rice. Don't get regular rice because it takes like 20 minutes to cook. Instant rice, much faster, uh, and you'll save on your fuel. Okay, oatmeal. Uh, it's a, it's a staple. It's a good slow burning carb. Um, keeps you keeps you with the amount of you know the amount yeah, the amount of energy you need throughout the day. Okay. Uh, backpacker favorite instant mashed potatoes. Delicious. Okay. Uh, raisins, cashews. Not really a big fan of peanut peanuts myself unless they're in a Snickers bar. So this will go in trail mix. Oh, one thing I wanted to remember right here. This here 
is, uh, looks like a five hour energy bottle. And that's exactly what it is. But inside of it uh, is uh, olive oil. So, and these, these little, it's just, you know, repurpose these and uh, yeah, makes, makes a great little container for olive oil. Add it to your couscous, add it, add it to basically anything you want. They're, they, they are delicious. Um, well, everything's better with olive oil <laughs> as well as bacon. Okay, all right. Um, I do dehydrate some of my own foods, as you see right here. Uh, I've got some spinach. It's actually the 50-50 spring mix, good stuff. Uh, banana peppers, uh, zucchini, carrots, mushrooms. Okay, I didn't actually dehydrate those ones. Those ones I actually bought. Um, I got some bell peppers and jalapenos. Uh, jalapenos, uh, just a warning. Uh, they are very spicy, and I like spicy food. Last time I dehydrated jalapenos, I, I cut them too large, and I don't know what is in the dehydrating process. It concentrates the oils or something, but, I mean, like I said, I love hot food, hot spicy jalapenos. I'll do habaneros, ghost peppers, uh, yeah, uh, ghost peppers, <laughs> and uh, let's just say I, I renamed these things uh, Lagrimitas del Diablo, or Little little Tears of Satan. Um, yeah, even the guys in my, my last backpacking trip, they're just like, oh, I like, I like spicy food, and they tried these. Wow. Yeah, even they were crying, turning 50 shades of red. Uh, and then there's uh, dehydrated onions right here. Okay. Um, to my breakfasts, I'll do, I'll add some powdered eggs. It's a good source of, good source of protein. So um, now I don't, um, I don't fry them. I don't make scrambled eggs. It's just going to be, it's essentially going to be poached eggs because it's going to be probably added to oatmeal and it, you're, you, the hot water is going to cook them. Um, they're already cooked, but you're essentially going to have poached eggs. Okay, on the trail, um, I got some Asiago cheese. This does not re necessarily require refrigeration. Soft eggs, yes, soft eggs do require refrigeration. Uh, what am I saying? Eggs. Cheese. <laughs> okay, hard cheeses last much longer than soft cheeses without, without refrigeration. So hard cheeses, Asiago, Parmesan, I will put this into some of my, my dishes, uh, especially, you know, stuff with the, with the couscous. Okay, um, so yeah, so recommend that. Okay, in these two containers right here, I have uh, dehydrated chicken. Um, I dehydrated it myself in a Nesco dehydrator, um, picked it up at Walmart, and I just, now, because this is cheese and this is uh, chicken, uh, these will last easily a week uh, without refrigeration, but before I actually head on the trip, I, I will keep them in the refrigerator. In fact, I'll probably keep uh, a lot of my meals just in, in the refrigerator, just, you know, because it's, it's better, um, and until the actual trip starts. Okay, here we have what's normally considered backpacking food. Okay, you got backpacker pantry, mountain house. Um, these are good. I will not actually bring all of these. Uh, I will bring some. I'll definitely bring at least one because I'll probably use one of these containers as, a, uh, as the, uh, the cooking vessel where I put all my other stuff in. So, um, oh, and of course I forgot the mission tortillas. So can't forget tortillas, especially if you're going to do uh, you know a little Mexican food. A little, uh, we'll call it Mexican chicken with some tortillas. Throw some chicken on it, um, some refried beans. Put some cheese on it, and top it off with some fr Fritos. So I think we've covered everything right here, and there we have it. All the food has fit inside the Bear Vault 450. And by all of it, I mean everything it needs to. This here represents the food that will be eaten on the first day. Um, this just represents, I'll actually take some different stuff out of here, but basically uh, you got a dinner, a lunch, and a breakfast. So, um, and you're going to eat it, so on the first day it doesn't have to fit in here, to, even to keep it legal. So, um, so now we're going to say, okay, what do we have in here? Well, let's take a look. Okay, and there's all the food for the entire trip sitting right there in front of you. Okay, now, how do we have this broken down? These are the breakfasts. These are your lunches here in the middle. And then here are your dinners, as well as um, 
we'll call them appetizers, uh, other stuff deciding to eat. Okay, so uh, on each of these labels, you'll have uh, the name, the weight, and the calories. All right, that's just more so you can keep track of the calories and make sure you're eating what you need to. Uh, okay, here's your granola, different kind of granola. Um, two more granolas. Uh, this one here would be the oatmeal with raisins uh, and I believe also uh, cranberries and this is oatmeal with dates okay um, you can have these with water or you can uh, add milk this here is powdered milk and I keep it separate um, I could have pre-mixed it in here but if I decided that I just wanted to eat granola dry then I wouldn't want this milk, uh, the milk powder to be mixed in. So I can just add that as I need it or as I want it. It just gives you a little flexibility. Um, if you're finding that you're not having enough energy and you need more calories during the morning, um, this here is a bag of chia seeds. Uh, it's about 180 grams for this bag, gives you 900 calories. You just add the chia seeds to any of these packets right here. Um, and it gives you uh, some extra calories. Uh, or you can just add water straight to the chia seed and uh, you'll have what's called uh, chia pudding. You just wait a few minutes, the chia seeds uh, expand. And the benefit of the chia seed over uh, like flax seeds, chia seeds don't require to be ground up to get the, uh, the nutrients and the calories out of them. So that's why I prefer chia seeds over flax seeds. Okay, here for our lunch, Okay, this is a uh, couscous with vegetables, and uh, I forgot what else is in there, but uh, yeah, I got 479 calories in that one. Okay, uh, couscous with bacon. Uh, everything's better with bacon, so um, so there's that one, and then of course there's vegetables mixed in too. All right, here is a Mexican blend. Uh, it's got bacon. Uh, refried beans, some cilantro, uh, as well as some other vegetables. And uh, everything you see here, um, the vast majority of it, the spices have already been mixed in because they're dry spices. So it makes no sense to carry around, you know, like a bottle of oregano, a bottle of, you know, cumin. Just, just mix it into the pack to begin with. Okay. All right. Um, here's the, uh, the green belly meals. Um, these, the benefit of these is they don't require any uh, heat. So if you, for some reason you have, um, uh, like you run out of fuel or you have a stove malfunction, you don't need to heat anything to eat these. So I'll actually, I'll probably put this uh, toward the end of the trip, just in case I, something happens where I, I can't actually boil water anymore. Um, they're out there in Colorado. I believe they do have a fire ban in effect. So, um, so that's, that's why I'm bringing a, a you know, a, um, a gas stove. So, all right, uh, here we have the, the powdered, cum powdered hummus, uh, and I believe it, yeah, we got some cayenne in there and some various, uh, various seasonings, uh, as well as uh, there's two packets of tuna, so those will be eaten, you know, as, as I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, and then they got pepperoni, you got two packets, so each one of these is 350 calories, there's 700 right there for dinners. Okay, uh, the, the very first dinner I'm going to have is this lasagna. This is uh, Mountain House. In fact, it's two packets. Gives you 900 and, I don't know if you can see it there, but 960 calories. So, um, and another reason why I'm eating that one first, if you'll notice on these meals, these are not, um, these are not freezer bags, the vast majority of these. They're just standard bags. If you're going to boil water, don't put boiled water in a standard bag because you there's a very good chance that it's going to melt through. Freezer bags are stronger and they won't freeze through. I'm sorry, they won't they won't melt through when you put boiled water in it. So I will reuse this bag for the entire week. Okay. Okay. This one here is another Mexican uh, inspired dish with this here, these little pieces of looks like jerky though that's your dehydrated chicken I broke it up and put it in there and going with those I do have the the tortillas those 110 calories each so th they they compare up very well 
Okay, here's a um, Japanese-inspired meal. Okay, it's got the uh, the somen noodles as well as vegetables. So, um, again, another another Japanese-inspired meal. Um, and a, I, I say Japanese-inspired and Mexican-inspired because uh, any Mexican person and any Japanese person would say, you know, <laughs> uh, um, you know. This is not Mexican. This is not Japanese food. So, uh, what I say, um, uh, eres loca or loco? So you're crazy if you think this is Mexican and Japanese. I think you're crazy is anato wa kiri kiri pa, something like that. I don't know. But anyways, okay. So and then here we have some mashed potatoes with some bacon and some vegetables. Okay, I did put the spam with the Japanese food here, so um, I don't know. It just seemed like a good good mix. All right, so here is the uh, the trail mix. Here we have the olive oil in the uh, the five hour energy container, and just in case it leaks, it doesn't hurt to be safe and put it inside of a Ziploc bag. Okay, emergencies five one for each morning. Gotta get me some chocolate. And here's these dates. So. Um, got those, and I will have uh, two of these during the day. And this was actually the container that the uh, the mountain house came in. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the bottom of here, just as an extra backup bag in case this freezer bag busts or gets a hole in it or something. Because for freezer bags, I got this one here as well as the uh, the trail mix. I put the trail mix in the freezer bag just because the freezer bag is a little more sturdy. Trail mix is coming in and out, in and out, in and out. You know, my 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 pack or whatever. So it's going to have more wear and tear. All these other meals, they're going to get pulled out like once or twice, and then I don't really care if they get a hole. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to try to make a hole in them. So, but so there you go. That's uh that's everything, and it fits right inside there. Um, except for the first day's worth of food. So. Hello? Okay, so this is the food that I'm bringing right back here, okay? I didn't take everything, but I took things that gave me variety. Uh, one of the challenges is when you go on these backpacking trips, you're eating the same food every single meal. Hey, Mountain House makes some great food, but I don't want to have the same same thing every single day. So um, hopefully you learn some things here. Um, and hey, if you see anything that you have any recommendations, hey, just put them in the comments section below. Hey, I, I can always learn more stuff. So um, again, thank you very much and uh, we'll see you on the trail.